Welcome back to Ask Allison. Um, it is a new year and I want you to bring a new perspective to your practice, whether your practice is new or it's been chugging along for years. And I'm going to guide you through your current practice assessment and a bit of how to's for some things you may want to change. Before I get started, I want to thank Therapy Notes. They're the number one rated electronic health record system available today. With live telephone support seven days a week, it's clear why Therapy Notes is rated 4.9 out of five stars on Trustpilot and has a five star rating on Google. Therapy Notes makes billing, scheduling, note-taking, and telehealth incredibly easy, and they also offer a prescribe. If you're coming from another EHR, Therapy Notes makes that transition incredibly easy, importing your demographic data free of charge so you can get going right away. Find out what more than 100,000 mental health professionals already know. Use promo code ABUNDANT at therapynotes.com for two free months. All right. It's the new year. First things first, I want you to assess or reassess when you actually want to work. In case you need reminding, you do not have to work at times you don't want to work. Night owls can roll in at noon. People who, like me, fade with the sun can stop whenever you need to. Yes, you can see kids and couples do not buy into the BS that you have to work evenings or weekends if you don't want to. If you need to change your hours, it's as simple with quotation marks, it's as simple as a conversation with current or potential clients. It feels really stressful for us. What I've found is that our anticipatory anxiety about those conversations is like it far exceeds any discomfort or inconvenience our clients feel. If you need scripts for that conversation, we have them in the What to Say When course in the Abundance Party over at AbundancePracticeBuilding.com. Okay, now this part might be harder. Are you working with the clients you do great work with and the clients that feel sustainable for another year? Sometimes we feel compelled to stay with the niche or the client population that we've worked with forever, even when it's draining. And then we come home and we don't have anything left for our loved ones, or we continue even when we're not feeling challenged and alive in session. It is okay to change your niche. It is okay to go a complete other direction. I'm not here to tell you how to run the clinical side of your practice, but I will suggest that you don't ditch your current clients as you change your niche. Rather, only promote a new niche as soon as you've decided to switch and phase out the previous clients as those clients graduate from therapy. Now, next up is your fee. If you haven't already done Tiffany McLean's Fun with Fees calculator over at leaninmakebank.com, I'll put it in a link in the show notes. I want you to do that. The truth is your fee has nothing to do with anyone else's fee. Market value means nothing. This is a business and your business needs to be sustainable. And that means knowing how many sessions you can work and still be the person you want to be. That means taking vacations and not sweating snow days and some simple math that even I can do. So if you're raising your rate, know that it's like changing your hours. In my experience working with thousands of therapists across the world, 90 something percent of clients don't bat an eye. There may be one or two that really struggle or challenge or ghost you, but nearly everyone I've worked with on this issue is shocked that it went as well as it did. Next, make your practice goals something that you can actually control. A goal like get three new clients in January isn't something you can do. It's a result of actions that you take. So blog once a week or have one networking coffee a week or hire an SEO pro. These are great goals that you actually have control over. This is the part where I'm going to get like corporate trainery on you. Make sure that your goals are smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Have them in whatever calendar system you use. If it doesn't get scheduled, it probably won't get done. I want you to give yourself some well-deserved credit. So whether you're contemplating private practice or you're in the thick of it, you are doing something that most people don't do. Business ownership is courageous and exciting and scary and hard and easier and freeing and binding. Um, and now that we are newly in 2024, take ownership of the times you did something scary or hard that you didn't want to do, but you did it anyway. Maybe you networked for the first time and you thought you were going to hate it, but you made a real friend that day. Maybe you fought with technology and didn't snap your computer in half, even though everything in your being wanted to destroy it. Maybe you stated your fee with confidence and you didn't immediately offer a sliding scale. Maybe you got off insurance panels or on insurance panels. If you're listening to this podcast, I guarantee you did plenty to be proud of. Own it. Even if you can only hold on to that pride for just a few seconds, revel in it as long as you can. Now I'd like you to look at your greatest needs. Are you burned out? 
Are you terrified you won't get more clients calling? Are you swamped with life stuff and having a hard time keeping your work systems together? Get really real with yourself about where you're struggling or sabotaging or letting fear dictate your actions. Get help if you know you need it. If you don't know what to do next or how to get through the struggles, find a place to learn. A party plus is an option, the abundance party. I want you to have the structure that makes the most sense for you. If you need more support, that might mean party plus with us that has individual and group consultation. In addition to all the on-demand goodies that you get with the abundance party. If you're full and you need to make some big changes, we have a program just for you called Limitless Practice. You can find all of those all over at AbundancePracticeBuilding.com. I genuinely want this year to be mind-blowing for you. I want it to be mind-blowing for me too, to be honest. That takes awareness, clarity, intention, follow-through, and support. So take some time and think through these questions. We have them in our free worksheet today, so you can take some time on your own and do them. I hope that you have a really beautiful day and a great start to the year, and I will see you very soon.